Hello Balloon World, I'm your balloon twister Michael Floyd and today I want to teach you how to make a two balloon horse. This is really popular with the little girls and on average night at a party or a restaurant I'll probably make about 10 of these and it definitely is a crowd pleaser. Let me show you how to make it. Get your pink balloon for the body, whatever color you're going to use for the body, I'll be using pink, and you're going to want to inflate it about three quarters of the way. Find that spot on the balloon three quarters of the way down and inflate to there. Let the air out so it's soft, then tie. For the muzzle of the horse, what I'd like to do is twist two small half inch bubbles, take the knot and twist it together, take the slack, wrap it around and that way it holds it in place. This sort of squares off those bubbles, making them look like the horse's nostrils. Next, I make a small one inch bubble and pinch twist it. Twist this section here into this section here by folding it over, pulling, and pinching. That makes it look like the horse's lower lip. So now we have a nose and a lip for the horse. Now time for the head. Twist a section about two inches high two inches. Then I follow up by two one inch bubbles. These are the ears. I'm going to twist this section here into this section here by folding it over, pulling it and twisting it. Sort of like a pinch twist except there are two bubbles. Arrange the head so the nostrils are on top along with the ears. There we have our horse's head. Now it's time for his neck. For the neck, since they have a long neck, I'm going to go about four inches down, give the balloon a squeeze so it's nice and soft, twist a section there. Now if you're familiar with dogs and cats and most balloon animals, you'll recognize this next part. It's the traditional dog legs. Uh, twist a balloon about three inches, followed by another balloon about three inches. These are the legs of the horse. I'm going to twist this section here into this section here. There I have the front legs of the horse. Give the balloon a squeeze, making sure it's soft. If it's soft, it won't pop. Now for me, I like to give the horses a short body. It makes it look a little bit more like a pony in my mind. About three inches. Then same as the front legs. If you don't have much slack back here, it's okay to have shorter legs in the back. Just to people, it's half giraffe. But I'm going to try to make them about the same length, so there we go. Twist this section here into the section here. There we go. Now we have our horse's body. You notice that I have this little sort of nubbin of a tail coming out. If you have a lot more, that's okay. You can pinch twist it there like I'm going to do except I don't have anything left over to pinch twist. There we go. For my little nubbin, I just pinch twist it there. If yours is a little longer, just pinch twist it and then break off the rest and wrap it up so it doesn't come undone. And there we have our horse's body. Now it's time for his mane. Get your other balloon. Mine's purple. This is the color I'm using for all the hair. Inflate it about a third of the way. Make sure you blow into the right side. Tie it. Now we're going to take that knot. We're going to wrap it where the neck and the front legs of the horse meet. So right here. Now I'm going to make a string of bubbles, usually three or four. I'm going to twist this here into where the ears meet. Now I'm going to do it again on the way down. Same number of bubbles. I did four. So you notice these four bubbles, just like the pre first four, all about one inch. Twist this section here in to where the neck and the legs meet again. And there we have our mane. Now there's a little opening here. If you don't like that, what you can do is you can take these and you can find the spot where the f uh, they meet here in the middle and twist them. Once is usually enough and that sort of makes it look more braided and less open. 
Now, I want to get the air all the way to the end of this balloon. So I'm going to twist the section. I'm going to do a poodle tail. To, bo to do a poodle tail, you're going to pinch the balloon, but not all the way through. Pull it, creating a high pressure area right here because of the tension. Low pressure area is here at the end. Squeeze the air and it'll inflate. Isn't that cool? And then once you have a poodle tail, you can squeeze this more and it'll grow. So now I have this long section. I'm going to twist a section here at the end, however long I want my tail to be. I'm going to twist it here into where the pinch twist is. There we go. Now I'm going to shape it. To shape it, I'm going to bend it over like so. I'm going to massage it. The heat from my hand will warp the balloon just a little bit, plus the constant pressure, and it'll give it a nice little bend. Now we have to break this part of the balloon off. Right here, near where the tail is, try to cut that if you have scissors. If you don't, don't use your teeth. Remember, your teeth are jewels, not tools. What you can do is you can just simply tug on it, and eventually, it'll break. Now, because I had that twisted here into the neck, I could let it deflate without any trouble. Now, with this, what I like to do is I will take it up and wrap it into the nostril and leave the slack coming out between the nostril and the lip, making it look like a tongue. Really cool. The horse is sticking out its tongue. Now we arrange it. The slack from the tail we can work in so that way it won't come undone. Make it look like a pretty horse standing up straight and everything. There we go. And there we have our two balloon horse. To snazzy it up just a little bit, what you can do is you can put the mane on the side and then arrange it to make it look like it's like a really well-groomed horse and everything. So look at that. Such a pretty horse. Only thing left is to draw your face on it. For my simple balloon animals, I keep simple artwork. For my face, what I usually do is draw the eyebrows first, high up on the head, and then draw two small circles. And then I can fill those circles in a little bit, making it look very cartoony. And that's it, our balloon horse is done. Pretty fun. You get a lot of mileage out of this one. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. For more Balloon Animal Instructions, please go to balloon-animals.com.